Icebergs have always been a mystery to mankind, sometimes a thorn in our side and at other times our greatest allies, for some reason. I don't know if there's any way of making this sound cool. This is the iceberg iceberg chart. <laughs> just in case you don't know what an iceberg chart is, I'll just run it down quickly. An iceberg chart is a way of visually displaying information with more well-known facts on top and more obscure stuff about a chosen topic on the bottom. Okay, anyway, let's get into this video. I have a feeling this is going to be a very good one. We're starting off with probably the most well-known iceberg of them all, and that is the iceberg that sank the boat in the Titanic movie. I've forgotten what the name of this boat is, uh, it's the one in Titanic, so if anyone remembers that for me, please let me know in the comments. Anyways, this dastardly iceberg sank the boat on April 15th, 1912, after hitting the iceberg at approximately 11.40pm the day before, sinking 2 hours and 40 minutes later, killing an estimated 1,500 people. There were no survivors, apart from the 700 people that lived, the last of which passed away in 2009. The Club Penguin Iceberg, ah, oh, I mean my childhood was just built on this thing. Club Penguin was just so lit. So many 2009 afternoons were spent on this game, popping bottles with penguin models and making the sensei my bitch in the dojo. This entry might be referring to the fact that it's true that you can tip the iceberg. Many have tried and many have failed, but it is possible as seen here. Green icebergs exist. That's a fact. Did, Did you, you know, know that? that? According to Google, it's something about how the light bounces off, which makes sense because, you know, colour is just light bouncing off stuff. I think that this other thing's trying to say that it's a reflection of water underneath. I don't know if anyone watching this is going to care a terrible amount, so I'm just going to move on. The International Ice Patrol, the cops of the Arctic. They boss people around, report the jerks, and miss class three times a week. Basically, the Ice Patrol is this organisation founded in 1914 that's focus is to report the movement of icebergs for safety purposes. It's operated by the United States Coast Guard, but it's funded by 13 countries, those being Belgium, Canada, Denmark, Finland, France, Germany, Greece, Italy, Japan, Netherlands, Norway, Panama, Poland, Spain, Sweden, the US, and the UK. I'm not sure what to say for rising sea levels. I mean, you probably know about them. We're f***ed. <laughs> that ties into the polar bears dying, actually. Um, polar bears are good swimmers, don't get me wrong, but they're a land mammal. And because of global warming, they're being pushed together in the real world equivalent of a battle royale map shrinking. Their numbers are dropping fast and we need to do something about it. So Italy has pink ice in its Alps, which is quite cool. Only in spring and summer though. Researchers say it's likely caused by an algae known as, and I'm sorry if I pronounce this wrong, I'm probably gonna get a comment saying I got it wrong, but Ankle Ankleonema, Ankleonema Nordinskioeli, Ankleonia Nordinskioeli. <laughs> Yeah, so um, the iceberg got its name from iceberg lettuce. This happened in the 1600s sometimes when Sir Lactuva Sativa discovered an iceberg at the same time he was snacking down on an iceberg lettuce. He promptly put his flag down and decided to name the iceberg after his iceberg lettuce. Of course, as the story goes. I best explain what the bloop is because it comes up here a few times. It was an ultra low frequency, high amplitude underwater sound detected by US National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration back in 1997. It's a mystery where the sound came from, but it's nothing that we're familiar with. So what I've interpreted is that there's a good chance that there's this Megalodon-esque sea creature that we just haven't discovered yet. This entry saying that perhaps not, maybe it was just an iceberg sinking, which is very likely. That's probably what I think. Iceberg lettuce tastes yucky. I'm actually quite the fan. I just, I just love, love the crunch. crunch. I don't know, to me it's mostly flavorless, but it's got good texture and it's refreshing, so I don't really mind it. I think I've heard this one before, but long story short is that the icebergs that float around in salt water, aka the sea, don't actually have any salt water in them. They're made from entirely frozen fresh water. Yeah, so they don't actually contain any salt. Um, whether this means that hypothetically you could drink an iceberg or not, I don't know. However, to the best of my knowledge, salt water icebergs are a myth. According to knowyourmeme.com, reputable source I know, it is unknown the origins of the iceberg meme, with the first known image of an iceberg chart being uploaded in May 2011. So it's been in production for a while, although it's likely that this isn't even the earliest iceberg. Apparently the lower parts of the iceberg are also some logos for like websites that you can only access on the deep web. So even with the iceberg chart itself, you could ask, how deep does it go? The perfectly rectangular iceberg is just a thing of beauty, and it's completely natural. It allegedly happens in nature a fair bit because of the structure of an iceberg. They often break in straight lines, however when they're like hit with waves and wind and they melt in warmer waters, they kind of round out. This iceberg was discovered by NASA and while a few people think it's fake or photoshopped, it's actually real. This is something quite interesting and I'm not a scientist so I might be spouting shit. I'm gonna put a link to my source in the description. Okay, 
So you know how freezing things preserves them well? Well, in recent years, scientists have found bodies infected with the Spanish flu buried in Alaskan tundras. And the thing is that these viruses are being well preserved. Therefore, as the ice caps melt, these bodies that are frozen will be released. And perhaps those who died with the Black Plague in Siberia will release the plague again when they're thawed out due to global warming. So uh, good luck living with this potential information. You read that right. There's evidence to suggest that glaciers throughout the world are excessively contaminated with radioactive fallout. According to LifeScience.com, I don't know if that's a reputable source either, but we'll roll with it. Um, it's nothing to worry about, but they're contaminated with fallout as a result of nuclear accidents and weapons tests in every single glacier they studied. Kind of like the diseases, the same thing goes for ancient creatures. We might just find them floating about one day after all the ice melts. So uh, hooray, new discoveries, but also, oh no, flooding in disease. Icebergs are actually made of Poseidon's frozen cum. I think it's worth saying that I did not make this chart. I'm only reporting on it, but if you want to learn more about Poseidon's frozen cum, <laughs> ask Yin Yui. For research purposes only, of course. I'm not too sure what this is referring to as I've never played Mario 64. I don't know if there's an iceberg in the game. I think it's just talking about the original Mario 64 iceberg charts and how it's one of the first viral iceberg charts out there. Allegedly, it was made in an attempt to raise awareness for climate change. And if it is, then decent. I mean, I've referenced climate change a few times throughout this video, and I think we need to do something about it. Whether it's reducing the red meat in your diet or taking public transport more often, there are small things that we as individuals can do to help save our planet, which together will make a bigger impact. Okay, this one's quite interesting. Morgan Robinson was an American novelist who in 1898 wrote a book called The Wreck of the Titan, in which a British passenger line, which was deemed as unsinkable, called the SS Titan, hit an iceberg in the North Atlantic and sank. Almost everyone died because there were too few lifeboats. This book has been deemed so close to the actual story of the Titanic that there's been many conspiracy theories about it. One of which is that Morgan Robinson planted the iceberg before he died in 1915. And I absolutely believe it, that's exactly what went down. Yes, that's right, it was never a mere iceberg that was the cause of the bloop. I never believed it for one second. No, it was all a conspiracy theory, see? <laughs> it was those at the top just trying to cover it all up. The bloop is real, ladies and gentlemen. It wasn't some iceberg, no. It was something much, much more sinister. The Titanic iceberg with sentient is just something I couldn't find online, and this one's too deep even for me. So if anyone might know what this is referring to, please let me know in the comments. The bloop was an ancient creature that cracked from an iceberg. That's right. It's been there all along. We spoke earlier about the diseases frozen in time inside the icebergs. Well, reports have now come out that said it was the almighty bloop stuck in this iceberg too waiting for its time to come out. And it finally has. You'll all be sorry soon. Sorry when the bloop gets its fins on you. And now for the final one. This entire video has been building up to this one moment. And after this, you'll finally see exactly how deep it does go. <laughs> what has been waiting for us at the bottom this whole time. I had gay sex with an icicle. And that's the video guys, don't forget to like and subscribe! <laughs> um, in all honesty though, thank you guys for watching and I thank you for the consistent support. Please let me know in the comments what you want to see me do next as I'm only 12 videos in and I'm already out of ideas. Thank you so much for watching.